Well, I'm back. Now to break the news. Hey, Lola. Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it, Side Bogdowji? Well, I have some terrible news to share with you. What terrible news? Please tell me they don't involve another one of my friends getting killed. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but yes. The wanted employees and another one of their gang members killed another one of your friends. Brandon had a job at my USPS and he delivered mail to people's houses, and according to the security camera I installed in the mail truck he was in, he assaulted five people and one of them was one of your friends. One of your friends he assaulted to death was Kelly Pinkerton Tinfeta. They destroyed her entire area, including her house, and they decapitated her, sliced her into so many pieces, and massacred her. And if you're gonna ask about the four other people who got attacked, two of them survived and two of them died. But yeah, I'm sorry, but Kelly is dead, and so are Dark Nin Loud Senior, and Dry Paragink in Loud. <laughs> No. No. I cannot believe those jerks killed another one of my friends. Please tell me this isn't real. I'm sorry, but this is real. Kelly and two other people got killed and they are now reanimated. <laughs> No. Kelly, why did they have to kill you? Just why? <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss, Lola. I'm sorry another one of your friends got killed today, Lola. Me too. And I know exactly how you feel. I still miss my twin sister, and I will never forgive those heartless jerks for what they've done to her. Me neither. I still miss my parents and I'm still heartbroken over them dying. But we just need to keep on preparing for the battle. That way... All of our loved ones will be saved. You're right. We need to keep preparing, and we will win and make sure those wanted jerks get their comeuppance for all of their crimes against our loved ones. That's right. Those wanted jerks will pay for what they did. Now to enlighten more people to join us. And even though we still don't like him, we have to enlighten Jamie and convince him to join this organization as well since our dream of a utopia will be ruined if he gets assaulted to death. Meanwhile with General Guy and Brandon. So, you're now one of the top three biggest troublemakers along with me and Gerald? Yes. And it was all because of what we did to that girl who has the same hairstyle as Nelly. Now I'm afraid that more people are gonna come after me. Well, after your 50th job, you could get a disguise. That way, nobody will notice you. 
Good idea, General Guy. And I'm already thinking about disguising as Craig Tucker and trying to ruin his reputation by doing things the real Craig would never do. Okay then. I did that to Piccolo when I disguised as him, and in case someone turns Craig Tucker back to normal, it would be hilarious to see the look on his face when he ruined his reputation by attacking so many people while disguising as him. Okay then. But anyway, I'm going to think about where to work at for my next job. Finally, my experiments are done. Now, I must talk to a certain someone. Come in. Oh, uh, hello there. Who are you? I don't think I've met you before. Hello, Jamie. You will find out my identity soon enough. Let's just say that I am someone who is willing to help you. And I have an offer for you. An offer, you say? Well then, what is this offer you speak of? Okay. You see, in one of Stinky Pete's future jobs, Stinky Pete and his friends are planning to assault you to death. And I heard about the time General Guy and his friends assaulted your best friend Boyd to death. To be honest, I feel sorry for the time you lost your best friend when General Guy decided to assault to assault him to death. Oh my god, I really don't want to be reminded of that again, and I know that Stinky Pete and his friends are planning to assault me to death, and I also haven't gotten over the wanted employees and their gang members betraying me. So, you said that you want to help me, but how are you going to help me against Stinky Pete, General Guy, and their gang members? Simple, Jamie. Here, take this amulet. Do you see the amulet I just gave you? The amulet I just gave you is the Penance Amulet. The Penance Amulet has a bunch of powers, and if you use the Penance Amulet on any of the rude employees or any of their gang members, then they will not only suffer the same pain they inflicted on other people, but their immortality and invincibility will fade away the moment you use it on them. So, if you pull out the Penance Amulet, then that should be enough to get Stinky Pete, Empire's Yorick, Classic Lori Loud, Jaffar, Dark Cybrid Bowser, Dark Dreamy Bowser, and their gang members to back away from you. But in case if it is not enough to make the rude employees back away from you, I have created several robot clones out of Stinky Pete, Empire's Yorick, Classic Lori Loud, Jaffar, Dark Cybrid Bowser, Dark Dreamy Bowser, the rest of the rude employees, and all of their gang members. They will be there to help you if you are about to get assaulted to death. I've made sure that they are too powerful and indestructible for them to destroy. So, there should be no way that the rude employees and their gang members will be able to destroy them because I've made sure they can't be destroyed at all. I'm doing these things to help you because if you get assaulted to death, then this entire world is doomed. So, what do you say, Jamie? Since you want redemption, I'm willing to let you join my organization and make up for your sins. Okay. I will join your organization since I want redemption, but this will only be a temporary alliance between us since you and the rest of the members of your so-called organization may not like me at all even after what I did in the past. So, after General Guy's final job, our alliance is over, and we will part ways. That's fine with me, Jamie. You won't regret joining my organization. Now, I will be opening a portal for you to enter and get into the headquarters of my organization. For a self-proclaimed mastermind, Jamie is such an idiot. He actually thought I would trust him and all of the people who decided to join my organization, huh? And they actually thought I am helping them create a utopia with no wars or violence. Well then, looks like those fools fell right into my trap. I'm glad that more people are joining my organization, but that doesn't change the fact that they disobeyed and failed my orders by exposing my organization to the entire world when I watched the news about what happened during the 5th Texas D. Brazil incident. And don't worry. After the rude employees and their gang members are finished off and out of the way, it's time for Team Mighty Warriors and all of the members of my organization to get stabbed in the back and suffer a punishment of a lifetime, and it will be worse than the punishment the rude employees and their gang members will receive. It will be funny to see the look on their faces and torture the living crap out of them with severe punishment when Judgment Day comes for them. Especially you, Jamie, Drynelli, Jai Galo Aloud, Alan Cook, Jai Gatok and Black, and Team Mighty Warriors. 
In due time, you and all of your friends will suffer a punishment of a lifetime for disobeying and failing my orders, exposing the world unity to the entire world when I told you not to, and getting in my way of executing my plans. And I'll make sure that neither of you will escape it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, enough talk. Since my experiments are done, it's time for me to go back to the headquarters of my organization. But I will never tell any of my members about any of my experiments until I decide to give them and Team Mighty Warriors the punishment of a lifetime they will never escape. Anyways, I better get back to the headquarters since the members of my organization are probably wondering why I've been missing for over a month. <laughs>